if the market does end up crashing because there's a lot of talks about it right now will amc still have its run and today i wanted to bring up a few things in this video touching on the volkswagen squeeze comparing it to the s p 500 so on and so forth as well as some extra dd that i have that i've found so far over the weekend so without further ado please hit the like button it gets the algorithm going and pushes my video out to more people who are interested in amc and hit that subscribe button let's get in this is what happened with the s p 500 and what happened at the same exact time with the volkswagen squeeze at the same exact time Time frames I have them lined up so you want to pay attention to the bar right around the beginning of May of 2005 and the bar at the end of November in 2009 I have the same exact thing drawn out in the S&P 500 with the same exact time frames and the white box which is when the S&P 500 had a major crash in 2008 is exactly the same time frame Volkswagen had a major rally to the upside from the beginning of this line to the peak up over 3,300% on Volkswagen. So of course it was a major squeeze. Now, one thing I wanted to point up is that this squeeze wasn't like AMC and GameStop as of now. It was more so a melt up right here until essentially getting that push higher. And I think there was a big difference, don't get me wrong, from Volkswagen to what's happening now. I don't think short sellers had necessarily the tools that they had now to bring a stock to the ground alongside the S&P 500. So don't get me wrong. Taking a look at GameStop or AMC, you don't really see that same sort of melt up scenario. Uh, if anything, you're seeing a meltdown. Uh, in my opinion, of course, you know there's manipulation, you know there's naked shorting. It's not even speculation anymore. There's a lot of, a lot of horrible stuff going on behind the scenes with AMC and GameStop. But if anything, you are seeing that meltdown on AMC and GameStop. But if you look at the S&P 500 uh, and where it's trading now, you're kind of seeing the same thing that happened back here, right? You, you get this little bit of a melt up and then you hit a peak and you start selling off for a decent amount of time, gradually, gradually selling off. And there's a lot of uncertainty right now, especially with war, especially with the Federal Reserve raising interest rates. And there is a high possibility that the S&P 500 can just get a major, major hit to the downside, something looking like what happened in 2008, if not even worse. So what I want Wanted to point out is it looks to me as if the s p 500 was scaling up short sellers continued to short volkswagen and they also had to continue to cover and get out of these positions and you saw it continuously scaling up scaling up scaling up now of course there were catalysts right the whole porsche situation if you guys don't know the volkswagen squeeze make sure to go watch a video on it there's a volkswagen squeeze and there's the dgazf squeeze that gathers a lot of people's attention so make sure to go educate yourself on both of those squeezes but volkswagen basically had a melt up gamestop amc are melting down but they are melting down based off of what we're seeing right we know that the cost of borrow is extremely high on amc we know they don't have any shares left to drop amc and with that being said i think they're actually getting themselves stuck in a very bad situation whether the s p 500 falls or whether this thing starts to fly to the upside because again hedge funds have to hedge back here in 2008 leading up to 2008 it looks like they made the wrong moves hedging up to that time period and we just saw the s p 500 run only up to about 403 dollars and we saw that short sellers lost 81 billion basically what i'm trying to get at here is the spy is going to get very volatile alongside the cycles that amc is playing out alongside earnings alongside the reverse split alongside the conversion there is too much to handle to be able to hedge perfectly and there's also not any any more shares to be able to knock the thing down now there's of course a couple things i wanted to touch on on amc's chart but basically the spy is going to have a hard move one way or the other and i'm fine with either way i definitely don't think a crash is going to invalidate amc squeezing at all and i wanted just to bring this to your guys's attention i also do believe that amc will be much larger than the volkswagen squeeze much larger than anything has ever seen in this entire market now we touched on these little bit of cycles here in the most recent video in the white which is basically what amc is playing out and it could be one case scenario however this time is a little bit different if i bring the cycle in right here it does match to a t and with that being said i assume amc is going to scale up to about seven dollars and thirty cents seven dollars and twenty five cents and get a double top right at this spot before coming back down to about five dollars and thirty cents okay so there's this zone that amc looks like it wants to ping pong back and forth but from the macro perspective we broke out of this descending resistance level that we've been in over the past couple of years 
and AMC is looking solid. Now, AMC, since it gotten halted back here, back here, and most recently, has not ran this close to another halt, right? After a halt, AMC starts to sell off for quite a bit. You saw it time and time again, time and time again, and time and time again, right? Except now, AMC gets halted, and we're actually starting to scale up once again. AMC is getting that next move higher, breaking out of the resistance level, and trying to shift even higher. Now, I'm gonna hide the drawings here real quick, and I want you to pay attention on the bottom of the screen to the volume profile. We recently had a 73 million volume day, almost a 74 million volume day, and we haven't seen that since December 1st of 2022, and we don't see it for quite a bit. Take a look at how the volume is starting to scale up slightly on AMC. This is the exact melt up that you want to see because if you take a look at the overall price action, we are starting to scale up here on AMC. It looks like we hit a bottom right around $3.80 and we are starting to scale up with the volume starting to scale up as well. It's not just a random volume pop like you saw back here in August when Ape was being issued and it, when Ape was announced or like you saw back here in March of 2022. It's not like that this time. You're starting to see volume slowly slowly start to scale up in spurs 50 million 60 million now sitting in that 70 million spur which is exactly what you want to see leading up towards a short squeeze or a dramatic price increase in general now not saying this is what we're tracking right here back in june when we ran to 72 dollars but if you take a look at the volume this is kind of where we're trading at right now right you get that increase in volume you start to scale downwards get that healthy retracement before getting that second rip even higher and breaking the algorithm them. Now this time is different, right? It's running uh, very closely after a halt. It's sitting in the cycle period. It's sitting at the most convenient time frame. Cost to borrow is extremely high. There's a ton of pressure on short sellers. They don't have shares available to borrow against the stock. They're trying to file lawsuits to pause the conversion and we have earnings coming next week, February 28th on AMC, assuming we are going to be at least getting closer to going cash flow positive. Now take a look at the fails to deliver chart. Take a look at how many fails to deliver have been stacking up over the past few months. Now, AMC has been on the threshold securities list for more than 16 days so far. It has never happened, right? This has never happened with this stock. What's happening right now is not only do you have that heavy, heavy pressure on short sellers, but they also have this pressure where, yo, we got to bounce these fills to deliver to you. We got to bounce the fills to deliver to you, 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 just to continuously reset the cycle. They're getting an obligation. They're getting another obligation, another obligation until the system is going to crumble. Now, again, Take a look at the fields to deliver that stacked up over the past few months. They're sitting high. The most recent time we hit this line besides back here when we got this major spike one of the days was back after that major run in May, June when we ran up to $70. Now this major spike just one single day is when AMC ran up and got halted, right? It's when AMC ran up to about $17 and got halted and got pushed to the downside. That is when you saw the fields to deliver accumulate and essentially probably most likely get covered up until that time frame they covered them they halted the stock again illegal shit we've been scaling down ever since fails to deliver have been stacked up day by day by day except we got halted and the fails to deliver stayed there right they could not drop it for some reason it stayed on the threshold list so on and so forth. editing this video i realize it's going to be too long of a video and you guys don't like to press onto long videos so i am going to have to make a weekend analysis part two so pay attention right after this upload goes up for the part two to drop because we do have a ton more stuff to talk about guys so tune in for that make sure to pop in the discord link in the description and also if you guys want up to 17 free stocks 19 of you are not getting the benefits that you deserve actually only four out of 19 of you are who deposited into your account if you download mumu using my link on your phone or computer in the comments or the description i will leave the link and if you deposit even a penny into your account you are going to start earning a ton of benefits plus on top of that it's a very good platform that gives you access to free level two order book trading options going long going short access to viewing other exchanges trading pre-market and post-market, etc., etc. I love you all, guys. Tune in for part two. Lottery Socks out.